What's going on YouTube? It's Silos back with another video. Um, today I had a issue with my starting my Mini Cooper, my R53. So at the beginning I thought it was a starter, and then I thought it was a fuse, and then I thought it was a, probably a relay, and then I ended up figuring out that it was actually the ignition. <laughs> try to see if it was uh, or actually the video uh, as soon as the guy put in the key I, I got an idea and I just started wiggling so I figured out that you know you turn it and you literally get that so I figured out that if this ever happens you know you know pretty much just wiggle it and eventually just that will start up but that's um that's what I got. I thought it was a key. I actually initially I thought it was I have another key, so this is the one that I usually use. So I thought it was this one. I found out that it's actually because you did I don't know if you can see that there's a bunch of plague and that's probably what's causing it that, um, to have that issue. Um, but you know figured out that Sometimes it, sometimes I'll get it and I'll you know, start up on the first time, and the majority of the time it's um you kind of like pull it down or push it in, so like see it does that, and then like eventually like it does nothing, and then nothing. See, and then, so if you ever surround it have this issue just try that uh, but I'm gonna see how I can get this fixed um, probably replace it I don't know if it's cheaper I did see a video where there's a guy that actually uh, goes in and um, opens it up and it's something that is loose inside and then um, gets that fixed but if I do find out I'll, how to fix it I'll post it up but uh, if you're having an issue with the ignition switch and you're stranded somewhere, this is a way to get you to get home and just work by wiggling the key and just messing with it, it will start up right away. Alright, so this is a uh, silos with, um, I don't know how I would call this video tutorial, I don't know, but it's basically the ignition switch. So, Honestly, I almost went to, I almost bought a starter, and then I re and then I remembered, all right, they already replaced my starter when I, when I put in my clutch that recently, um, after driving this for seven years, it finally uh, burned out. So I was like, might as well, they, when they tear down the transmission, I was like, oh, why don't we just replace the starter because it's pretty old and... So that's I remember that that's how I figured out it's not a starter it's probably a relay um, oh and then I checked all the fuses and it's nothing and then I found out it's basically it's the ignition because you see that it's a, a lot of plague and I, I don't know how it works but uh, it's just not getting me started because there's days where I just turn it fine and it started up right away on the first try and then like today all day it gave me issues so I found out it was that and then um, basically I just got home um, but I almost I was about <laughs> this close to actually towing it so alright hopefully you guys liked this video I already made it longer than I should have but there you go
and I actually uh, took out the, the ignition switch which is somewhere in here um, actually I'll link a video um, of where I actually got it um, but anyways um, the show I was having that uh, it wasn't starting it's actually taken care of actually what I did is I I cleaned the, the points on it and then now it's you know it starts up like nothing you know like the other day I was trying and I was wiggling in and stuff and it wouldn't come down and now it and there you go you know so hopefully uh, this helps um, and no comment and stuff if you guys need some help and I'll gladly help you out.